I think the thing that I appreciate most about the Order of Deacon, one of the things is that they really are those who are charged with connecting the church and the world, being a bridge so that, that we really don't get so insular in the church that we don't understand what's going on outside of our walls. At United Way of the Bluegrass, we address financial stability, bringing people to self-sufficiency by focusing on basic needs, of course, student success, student achievement, and financial stability. So the, the basic needs piece, so I've been promoting that among the, the churches as a way to get um, resources to people who need them. And this is the student success and student achievement piece, the four kids piece. It's been a, a great blessing to me. It's got uh, connections both in my appointment at United Way of the Bluegrass and in my uh, ministry uh, in the, within the Methodist Church as a deacon. So I'm taking my, my ministry out into the community and beginning to uh, develop relationships with families and students and teachers and volunteers and being able to tell our own story. And so that's been, um, been a way for me to to share my gospel. The beauty of a small group is you can, you know, you can take field trips, you can leave church, you can go serve folks, you can just do fun things together, you know, and we all just become, um, we're just a group of men, we're a group of Christian men um, trying to learn um, about what that means, you know, what does it mean to be um, a man that God made us to be and to be a Christian man in this world. So wherever we're doing it, whether it's throwing axes or whether we're you know, in room 331 at Christ Church, it, uh, it's, it's great. So. Last year, uh, we gathered uh, around some uh, middle school boys in Sunday school, and I walked into the Sunday school class and I noticed that none of the boys were talking to each other. And I realized about 10 boys, they went to 10 different schools. They didn't know each other. Um, so one of the boys um, wanted to start a basketball team. This year, uh, they wanted to do it again, and now it's evolved into 19 kids over two teams because these kids are finding that they now enjoy these each other, they enjoy being at the church, and they're going out and telling their friends. And it's pretty exciting because they are excited about basketball, playing basketball under the heading of Christ Church. And they're excited and they're going out and telling people and bringing them in. So it seems may seem like not a big dramatic kind of thing, but in the life of one kid, it's huge. I've loved how you know my kids, my, my son who's in sixth grade, will see him up in the pulpit sometimes, but then he's also there at practice, um, and so it's like, oh yeah, Brandon, he you know he's my buddy, he's my coach, but also, okay, he's also a man of God and he's up there preaching from the pulpit. So it's a really cool connection that I think has made our big church um, feel smaller for my son particularly. I feel like uh, my background and what God has equipped me with the kinds of skills is I'm good with talking with people that are not churched people. They don't know the church language, they don't know the church culture, but they are interested in it. And I believe I can, I can help bridge those conversations a lot. So I just think by my skills, yes, I can preach, and yes, I can lead small groups, and yes, I can do pastoral care calls, but the focus of what I do is I want to expand God's kingdom.